Hello everyone and welcome back to Crashlands. My name's Techorsa and today look how big these guys have grown. It's been a couple of days since my last recording session and these guys grew up. The Plutipus used to be so tiny. Now he's fairly sizable now. But anyway, so one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to grab this memory talent. There we go, build that. And I'm going to give it to my um, Glutterfly. Because I came up with a better name for it. There we go. If you get the reference, you'll appreciate it as much as I do. But anyways, so in the last episode, I got a couple of pretty cool looking recipes. And I think I should probably go ahead and make them, assuming that I can remember where they were at. So we got Dbot. I think this is some form of trinket, and I want it. And I've got enough stuff to build it, so we're going to build that. And we also want a stunning mirror, which is requires five basic glue. Now we can make the stunning mirror. And that's going to take a while. Um... So you should have something to do in the meantime. Oh, right, right. So, um, apparently while I was out doing stuff, I picked up a bit of nitro. So I can actually turn in that quest. We can do that while we're waiting. Now, hopefully this one doesn't have any more quests after it this on the chain and whatnot. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> My lowly disciple, a tendrum of mad sciency brains, your god box presents nitro. Juice box, cut it out. Ayoo! Just perfect it is. Woohoo! This gooey explosive will work great with my flamethrower design. <gasps> Does I have flamethrower? <laughs> Looks useful to me. I'd like to set Hugo on fire with that. Can I have flamethrower? Remember the golden rule, Romero. Everything is better with explosions. I can have flamethrower? Thank you, Godbox. Flamethrower now, please? Aha! Flamethrower! Okay, we gotta rush back now. So what do I need for this? I need giant fossilized femur. I have no idea where that comes from. And I need tartil pitch. I think I have to go kill a bunch of tartils for that. So I guess that's gonna have to wait. And we still have 50 seconds and another minute and 45. That's another three minutes. So let's head over to Grandmammy's. Now let's talk to Grandmammy's friends whom I will never remember their names. Jack, I've got something sneaky I need you to help with, stiff limbs. If you think you can be discreet, we might be able to get a jump on Hugo. Not sure how this will help build our comm device and talk to the Bureau. Don't be so thick, robot. If Hugo moves his plans forward, it's unlikely you'll ever make that delivery. White guy's got a point. <laughs> He's got a point, Juicebox. See? Even Flux agrees with me. What do you know, Jack? You don't know, Jack. <laughs> uh, we know that Hugo's holding an old Tendram who might have sensitive information. No doubt he'll be interrogated soon. Oh no. It'll turn out like... Um... Oh no. It's been too long since I've heard that person's name. So we break in the old or so we break in and break the old guy out. Be more strategic with your thoughts, Flux. We're not entirely sure what Hugo is up to. If you could eavesdrop on that conversation and learn what Hugo is looking for, then we might be able to throw roadblocks more effectively. The Tendrum is being held far southwest of Graham's laboratory. Okay. Sneak over at night and find out what Hugo wants, then report back. Alright, so stealthy mission. Alright, blue guy, what do you want? Makalak. Hugo Duco is 
bringing quite the arsenal with them. If you want hope of surviving out there, you'll need more than healing power. Or you'll need more healing power. I... I have hopes of living. Flux, we want to live, right? Tell her we want to live! <sighs> Being alive is nice. Having any effective methods for keeping us that way? Potions. And not just any potions. Stone-sealed, fat-headed slurper juice potions. Ooh, fat heads restore a lot of health on their own. It's even more than the health pots that I've been chugging. See, the fat heads, if you twist them just right, produce a regenerative mucus. Put that slime in a jar, then boom, healed. Hey, it's a good idea. The only problem is, debris from that ship of yours has been polluting the water. Until it's cleared up, those fat heads won't produce mucus. Oh no! <laughs> It is somewhat radioactive. I noticed. Fish out three of those radioactive chunks of debris and turn them over to me and I'll teach you proper potions. I like the thought of having more potions. What's this last one? Flack. You with the solid limbs. So to the Tendram we're purplies. For these guys we're solid limbs. I don't know what these guys are called. We'll figure that out later. Huh? Uh, me? Flux, is it? I have an idea for a bomb, and I need you to fetch some ingredients for me. Only if we get a piece of that bomb action, Flack. I am nothing if not explosively generous. <laughs> You've seen those gas sack plants? They occasionally produce a super volatile sack. Bring me five of those to mess with. We'll have some fun. Well, luckily, I've been collecting lots of gas sacks recently. So here, you can have it. Let me grope those sacks. Ew! Don't use the word grope! Mmm, yes! We can recreate the volatility of these sacks using squee barrels, bypassing this rare resource entirely. Boom! Haha, <laughs> literally. Before we go into full production, you should take these out for a spin. Flack, we received word that one of our agents in the Northwest has been ambushed by enraged wampets. Wish for something to explode, and the universe provides. Ha <laughs> ha! Flux, head Northwest until you see our wampet-covered friend. Take those furry pogo sticks out with these firecrackers and report back. For science? For science! <laughs> I like him. Flack, is it? I shall remember your name. So now we've got D-Bot and the Stunning Mirror. Awesome. Let's see. What was the weapon here? It was a Squeebop? Hmm. Should I make one of these? You know what? I'm going to at least build it since it is a tier 7 weapon. Okay. Let's take a look at this now. Okay, so it has a stun chance, it has less attacks per second, but more damage per second. Not much, though. It has a stun chance instead of a crit chance, a vampire instead of berserk, and f or a vampire and freeze instead of move and berserk. I don't know. I want. I think I want to keep my old one. Since that Berserk chance is insane. So, Glorb? Let's see, do we want crit chance or do we want... No, let's... Build them both. Okay, that's gonna take a while. So, in the meantime... Let's see, what's gonna be the best one? Probably the Explosives Lab. Here we go. Oh, wow, that's a lot of Wampets. Get him, Whammy. <laughs> you should throw those away, those slightly further away from the rescuee next time, you maniac. Motors, good thing I've got this defensive bobble technique down, reckless humans. <laughs> Someone's got a lack of appreciation. Yes, I agree, Juicebox. He does look a little crispy, but hey, let's tell Flack how well he's worked. 
Hello. Mm -hmm. Flack, the firecrackers worked great. The bombs were like, shoo, shoo, and the wombats were like, ah, fire, we're dead. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect field test. Move into full production, Flux. And if you don't mind, I have another idea. Now, I've always loved explosions, ever since I was a wee quadro babby, searching for the licks of sodium to bring to water bring to the water. But I've always wondered, what if one could cause an explosion of choking agent? Something that didn't burn, but poisoned. Ooh. Like a poison bomb? Exactly, talk box. You could then technically catch something on fire and poison it. Amazing, right? Sounds plenty deadly. That's true. The glutterflies that roam these parts have quite the toxic poison in their abdomens. If I could study... If I could just study one... Flux could try to domesticate one, eh, Flux? For science! Flux, raise a glutterfly of your own and let me inspect it. I think they hold the key. Why do you want to examine... Why do you want to examine Serenity? Oh well, I can make firecrackers now. And our stuff should be done now. Alright, here we go. And we got them both. Glorb and the safety gogs. Did it put them automatically on? Oops. Yes, indeed. An extra 5% chance to poison. And an increase of crit by 10%. And if that stacks well with this, oh, I've got a 30% chance to crit. It's the cover of Nightfall. We need to head out there. See if we can get to the interrogation room. Quickly and efficiently before the night is over. Here. My furry goat friend, how are you? Is that cell treating you terribly? I sure hope so. Whatever, Hugo. We both know why you want to talk to me, so either ask or send me to Marla. Tell me where the lens is, and I might let you see your fellow Tendram again. <laughs> Insanity, Hugo. Lord Hadrick was the only one who could control that power. He's been missing a long while. I can control it. I am greater than he ever was. Look at my magnificent helm. If anyone can troll warp holes, it is me. The lens has been gone since the end of Hadric's reign. No one knows where it is. Someone knows. I will find it. And when I do, it'll be the end of you. The end of Marla. And the beginning of me, me, me. Whatever, Hugo. Just end me now. I'm ready to meet Marla. I think I'll leave you locked away, to wither like a dried leaf. And I'll just open this outer door so escape is tantalizingly close, but oh so far. Enjoy your stay, Bar- Barbaran? Really? <laughs> Guess it's time to return to Marla, huh? Didn't think it in quite like this. Eh? What's that? We're just outside. We can get you out of there. Marla's roots grow strong. Hugo locked me in here, put some password on the door, and I can't decrypt it. Ah, that chin-strapping maniac makes me so mad my processor could spit. Curse you, Hugo Duco. Seriously? His password is Hugo Duco? Hugo really needs to work on his password strength. Hoo hoo, I'm out of here. Thanks to you here, I raised big ol' wampets when I was free. Take these for your troubles. Hugo Duco! Ooh, two more Womp Lord Essence. We should free Barbaron and then go back to tell Jack what we heard. Well... Yeah. We can just move along now. Nothing to see here. Hello, Mr. Jack. Flux, you're back. What did you find out? I've got this. Recorded the whole thing. Perks of being a thick robot. Right, Jack? Juicebox, please back the conversation. Thank you, Juicebox. Oh my. Hugo has been a thorn on our sides, but he's never been this adventurous. 
ambitious before, but the Lens will have the power to transport anything to or from the planet. So the Lens has been missing for a very long time. I don't think we need to worry yet, but in the meantime... You have more for me? Okay. It's come to our attention that Hugo has made a weapons research breakthrough. Uh -huh. He's already got lasers mounted on his head. What more does he need? Hugo is a power-hungry megalomaniac flux. There is no upper limit to his needs. The weapon he's created is called a... Breakler. It injects poison automatically on striking. Obviously, this is something Hugo shouldn't have. It's something I should have. But we could definitely use something like that. I like your thinking, Juice Box. Now you're thinking, Robot. He hasn't built the thing yet, but the plans are stashed away in one of his outposts. It's far to the west. It should be an easy break-in. Our agent has stashed a key on the eastern edge of the outpost. Huh? Alright, let's go get it then. Anything else? Just talk to me again once you've constructed it. Otherwise, keep this quiet. Ooh, there it is. Why are there wampets in it? Ooh. Unlock it. Alright, you ready, Whammy? Go get him. Beakler recipe. I'm assuming it uses a Glitopus beak as a core component of the recipe. No, no, let's go home and find out. And yeah, I was right. It does use the Glitopus beaks. And that's a minute and a half wait. I will see you guys back over at Grandmammy's. Okay, let's talk to Jack first. One Beakler. Quite complex on the inside, and the man is... Is it murderous? I actually didn't look at the stats on it. My bad. Jack turns the trinket over in his tentacle hands. Amazing work. I'll pass the recipe on to my agents. This should help immensely. Oh, and Flux? Though you're a stiff limbs, I'm making you an agent of the fifth arm. Ooh. <laughs> May you reach from the depths. Well, so now I'm the guild master of that one adventurer's guild. Now I'm a member of the fifth arm or the fifth tentacle. Nice. Oh, let's actually... Okay, I Let's look at it. With the right amount of poison, you can overcome just about anything. Grants a 10% chance to poison enemies on melee attacks. I assume that stacks with this one, which means a 15% chance. And do I have a poison chance on here? Nah. But I assume it'll stack with whatever else I have. So yeah. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and equip this one since it has a higher DPS and that affects the DPS of everything a perfect specimen and look at this the poison can be mixed into a semi-stable state that turns gaseous on impact yeah that's what all glutterflies do that sounds perfect for a bomb you're right juice box they literally throw bombs out of their butt. Indeed it is. If you use a fleshy, somewhat pliable housing, such as one of those flathead slurpers, you'll even be pocketable. Thanks for doing the field research, Flux. I think these are ready for mass production. Just don't slip with one of these in your pocket. Oh, that looks so gross. Let's grab those. Grab these. And Jack has another mission for us. Psst. Eh? What's up, Jack? I have a super secret mission for you. No one else can know about it, or we'll all likely die a fiery, painful, explosive death. Probably a poisonous death, too, now that Jack has that recipe. Or not Jack. Flack. Sounds... 
Whoa, sounds pretty hardcore. What's the situation? Is there a bomb under Grand Memory? Oh no, a bomb under Grand... Shh, no. I can't believe we have to do this, but it's time we... Looks around nervously. Celebrate Flax Egg Day. <gasps> egg Day? Is that like a birthday? The Quadrupus Egg Day celebrates the day that they successfully came into being after struggling to break through the tough coverings of their egg. Sounds happy. Why is everything going to explode? Well, Flack has had a lot of near-death experiences in her time and puts a lot of value on her egg day. If anyone ruins it for her, dot, 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 she'd explode or the rest of us would be exploded. Right, so the rest of the crew piled our stuff together and we came up with a trinket for her. We're just missing a few things. Bring me 10 fossilized femurs and five nitro so we can get it done. And don't take too long. If we miss it, we'll all be exploded. Well, that sounds fun and all. But um, I think I have one other quest that I need to do. Oh, this one I'm just gonna have to work on over time. There's no way that I'm just gonna hit it and be like, ooh, done. Um, so I guess the last thing that we have that we can do is assault Hugo's supply cache. That should be a fairly quick thing. Let's put down a floor. Why does he have pictures of himself? That's weird, dude. Okay, wait, there's a box here. Let's hit that. Or, okay, we picked up the supply crate. Good. Supply crate number two. And this Glitopus has supply crate number three. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, Grandmammy, what's next? That'll make him hurt. Of course it will. Now where can we get that dish? Right, well... Attention! I am hearing whispers that a small Tendrum village is being overrun by Tartils. Tartils! Those mortar-launching creatures are lethal. Surely Hugo Duco is behind it, Grandmammy. It happens to be a village run by a Tendrum called... Barnabas. Barnabas! Fate is strange, Flowery. Barnabas might know where you can get your dish. Indeed, Barnabas' engineering skills aren't matched anywhere on the savanna. He might be the only one with the knowledge you seek. Quit yammering then and show us where the village is at. Be patient, Juice Box. Jeez. Yes, sir. Get to Barnapole and take out the, all the tartels you can find. Then talk to Barnabas. Alright, well that's gonna have to wait until the next episode. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for all of my video updates. Gonna throw a couple of videos over on the left that I think you guys might enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.